Ramsey County Museum. Here in our museum, we have a lot to see. Uh, we have a nice military room. We have ancient maps. We have a one-room schoolhouse, and of course, obviously, we have a model of a coal mine. One of many coal mines, once represented in all of Appalachia, but here in Guernsey County especially, where we talk about the conditions of a mine, the way the miners and their families lived and died. Now for you map enthusiasts, here is a rare, one of very few maps in the United States printed in 1773, which after the Revolutionary War helped to establish the boundary line between the United States and Canada. Never did get much of an education. In fact, it took a long time for me to learn the English language because I'm from Europe. But this room we're in now represents one of at least 70 one-room schoolhouses here in Guernsey County. I'm not here to learn anything because I'm probably too old to learn, but I did help mine the coal that fires that pot belly stove behind me. This room in our museum represents our military men and women who served in all the wars throughout history, many who gave the ultimate sacrifice. This particular view is of our favorite son, John Glenn, who will celebrate 2021, his 100th birthday. Hi, my name is Rick Booth and I'm the computer and digitization specialist here who put together this video. I've only got a couple of minutes to tell you what we've been up to. We had been scheduled to host this meeting in person this year, but now we're rescheduled for 2025, hoping to hold it in historic Fletcher Chapel, which we helped save from demolition a couple of years ago. It's one of the buildings still left from the giant 168 building hospital complex built on an emergency basis by the Army in 1943 to care for World War II wounded, just three miles north of Cambridge. Besides our museum, when in Cambridge, you should also consider visiting the National Museum of Cambridge Glass, featuring thousands of beautiful pieces of glassware made here in the first half of the 20th century. Our town also holds an annual Winter Dickens Festival. We help out conducting historic trolley tours in December, and Living History Cemetery tours in the summer and fall. To see the 15,000 pictures that I myself have put online for the museum, go to GuernseyCountyHistory.com and click on Flickr Photo Collection. I especially love working with 100-year-old postcards, glass plates, and tintypes. I'm always glad to pack up my digital equipment and take it on the road to other counties to do on-site scanning and demonstration of techniques. I want to encourage other sites to do this too because it's a tremendously rewarding way to rediscover the past. Dave mentioned that July 18th marks the centennial of John Glenn's birth in Cambridge. In preparation for celebrating that event, we recently helped get a statue of John installed for a year's display at the Ohio State House. We're also planning a parade and other celebration activities at this time. And finally this summer, we're hoping to, as part of our uh, John Glenn Centennial event, uh, have a series of uh, free movies for the public having to do with space program history and especially John's flight, including Hidden Figures, The Right Stuff, which was uh, covered in the Mercury program. Great, a great little uh, documentary produced last year called Project Mercury by a film student over at uh, over Pittsburgh. Uh, the John Glenn Story, that was a 1963 film produced by NASA and features lots of stuff about New Concord, which is almost in Guernsey County. And then uh, there's also a, 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 a Flight of Trenchip 7 film that uh, made popular the phrase, uh, Godspeed John Glenn, that's where the public really learned it. So anyhow, we hope that uh, you'll be able to join us for some of the celebrations the weekend of uh, July 17th and 18th, and Apollo 13, by the way, that's the, uh, that's the finest moment of uh, NASA and mission control. Anyhow, we hope to be able to join us July 17th and 18th for the celebrations, especially for John Glenn and possibly some of these movies on other dates. And with all that said, I'd like to say thanks very much. See you then.